the VCU U crops had been making a difference for many around campus. I'm a little upset because this is where I come all the time to get my groceries. It's walking distance from my dorm, you know, and now I'm probably getting in my car and drive to Kroger's or something to get my groceries. Vice President of U Crop Store Operations Jim Scanlon says the store just didn't make enough cash. We, we made a decision. Uh, Harrison and Gray Street store has been open for five years now. And uh, we, we've uh, put a lot of money into the store, uh, quite a few millions of dollars. And we just have not been able to make a profit in that store. And it's a substantial deficit, so it's not like it's just a, a small amount of money. Uh, it's a substantial deficit. And we, we, it's a tough decision, but we, we made a decision to close the store. VCU students, faculty, and staff are not the only people affected by the closing. Shirley Turner depends on this location and Somebody doesn't want to, go to see it go. We need this store. It's walking distance for the old folks and those who really, like me, they really need it. I don't live here, but my brother do. And uh, he can't do nothing for himself. Ucrops is not the first grocery store forced to close at this location. Uh, Safeway was there, Farm Fresh was there, Community Pride was there, uh, and, and none of them were able to, to, to really make it as a supermarket. Uh, potentially, maybe it's a, a better location for another type of business. Uh, Some customers disagree. It's a great location. I used to live over on Harrison and uh, Park, and so it's a great location to just walk over and grab some groceries. You don't have to have a large load and just go back. Or even those that are on the bus, um, if you have to grab large loads, the bus stop is right over there. So it's an easy way to also transport groceries home. But according to Ucrops, customers just weren't grabbing enough to make this store pay off. For VCU Insight, I'm Philip Renalo.